Hello and welcome to a brand new episode from the Craft Squad server. Today we are trying to deal with Minecraft's biggest pain. So let's see how that's going to work out. So if you didn't get what we were going to do from the intro, we are going to try to deal with a few villagers. We're going to try to maybe make a breeder and maybe get started on a little bit of a iron farm. So that's plan of today. Now let's oh that was bad. Let's see how we're going to do that. Alright, we have gotten a little bit of a hole here. This is where our villager breeder is going to be. But I have a little bit of a twist from last time. You see, last time I built this thing I left all the walls just dirt and a little bit mix of cobblestone and stuff like that so this time i'm going to try something new i'm actually going to try to make my builds look nice both on the inside and the outside so right now our little breeder looks like this it has a little bit of smooth stone and a little bit of deep slate i think it is and down here it's all well lit and yeah, it doesn't look terrible. That's that was my goal. So yeah, this part is actually done. I can actually get the village down here now. So I think I'm just going to do that right now. All right, I've got a few rails. So now I just hope I can get a villager or three down this track and see, you know, where they're going to be. All right, I th think we don't have enough rails. Ah, oh, come on. Let's see. Well, I think we can make this work. Let's just push this guy and see if we... Wait, we can take this one. We can take this one. Alright. I think... We are... Almost there. <laughs> uh, villagers. Perfect. Now, you will love being a farmer. I won't buy anything from you and... I won't feed you, you have to do all that stuff yourself, but have fun. You wanna be a farmer? Hey, here's a farmer! Nice of you to join us. Now you can be a farmer and have fun and all that kind of stuff. Alright, we are on our way with one of these guys. We need two, so this might take some time. Just fall down, that's all you need to do. Perfect. Alright, villager number two is going down fast and he's gone. Perfect. You annoying villager. What are you doing down here? Why do you have to do that to me? I needed you to be up there, not down here with these guys. So, I did manage to get them to stand in the correct place. I did manage to get the farmer dude back into the farmer area. I have absolutely no idea how it happened, but yeah, it just happened and I'm super grateful for it. So yeah, I'm just going to continue like it never happened and be happy with that. Well, anyway, I do think that the breeder is done. I believe there is a little baby villager just up there. And yeah, he's down there. You can kind of see him moving. As soon as he grows up, he will pop up here and rope down this water stream and end up right here, where he's ready to be collected. And by the way, oh, that was fast. All right, I probably need to make a better entrance. This does not look very nice. So let's do that. All right, I have teared it down and built it up a few times, but this is the best I can do right now. I'm just stupid when it comes to building nice things and yeah. I'm just going to stick with this design for now. It works. It's not super ugly. So yeah, this is my design. And as we can see, there has been at least one more villager. Maybe more. It's a little bit hard to see, but it works. And that's what's important. So I've been thinking a little bit. And I remember that for a few of the farms I want to make, I kind of need carpets. So... For that reason and that reason alone, I decided to collect a few sheep and make a little bit of a sheep farm before I do anything else. And this one is number two. I have been able to collect a few animals, 
and breed them up. So I think I should be set. The only thing I don't have here are pigs and chickens. I don't really need pigs or chickens. So Alright, we have a sheep kind of farm. We are going to make a more automatic one. And we have a cow thingy. <laughs> cow farm. It's not exactly a breeder, but it kind of is. So yeah, we are going to get a few more sheep in here. And then we are going to make a little bit more automatic wool farm. And yes, one more thing. I actually have started construction of a iron farm right up there. You can see that hole in there. It's going to be on top of this mountain. The only thing I've done is dig a 3x3 three three hole from the top and down to that hole. So it's still a lot to do. But we have started and it's going to happen at some point. So now that it comes to the sheep farm, we're going to have to wait a little bit on that because we are going to the end. You see, a few of my fellow servers, server people, uh, have decided to take out the Ender Dragon already, so we're going to try to do that right now. Let's see how we're going to do that. So, we went into the end and we were ready to face the dragon. Considering that I mostly had stone tools and one of us didn't have any armor whatsoever, Let's just say, I didn't have high hopes. We made our way over to the main island, and we started to shoot down the crystals. And of course, with my terrible aim, I wasted a lot of arrows. I don't know why I decided to target the crystals with bars around them, but I did. And I did hit them, after some time and after quite a lot of arrows. Now it's just us against the dragon. And it hates to say this, but the dragon got in quite a few hits. And it sent me all the way back to base. But we didn't give up. And even when one of my friends decided to give me back my stuff, item for item, one at a time, even the arrows, even then, we didn't give up. Finally, we started to get in a few good hits. But once again, the dragon sent me right out of the end. So, I kinda missed the big party, but I did get to see the XP fall. And then, I just decided to take the egg with me home. And that is the story of how we defeated the dragon. The end. So, real fast update on the villager breeder. It is plenty of villagers, as you can see here, it is plenty of them. I haven't gotten used to any. And I did get a villager with a good trade, but I'm afraid he has passed over to the wrong side of things. Now, to the sheep farm. Now, when it comes to the sheep farm, I've actually already built it. Because the footage was kind of gone. And yeah, so this is it. It's super simple. And super efficient actually. So it already has quite a lot. And it's has been running for a while. So yeah. These shares are not in a very good state. Iron farm. So now when it comes to the iron farm. I was super lucky and got a lot of glass and other materials from another player on the server, so I was actually able to finish it like that, and I mean super fast, so now I actually have a iron farm, which is super nice. Uh, the design is by this dude up in the corner there, and I think I'll leave a link to this video down below in the description, but uh, I think I built this, at least a little bit of it, on stream. So, if you are interested in catching that next time, you can head over to twitch.tv slash streams. The link is down in the description. But now, need to check on the iron. So, I've used some time to dig out a little bit of space there. So, I do have a staircase up to the lava point over there. I am going to decorate it. I am going to try to make things nice. But right now it is like this. 
and it has produced quite a bit actually. Look at this. It's enough iron for shears at least. Perfect. This is perfect. All right, I've crafted up a little bit of, or a few shears that we can fill up. Hopefully all of the, okay, that didn't last long. I need more shears. All right, now I have filled up all of the sheep cutters down there with shears and I still have plenty of iron left. Now, I don't think I'm gonna explain the axolotls. They're just there. Just don't think about it. They, they, they're not there. Just don't, they're not there. And on that note, I'm actually out on video time today. So if you so want to enjoy the video, please leave a like and consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notifications because that would make me really happy. If you're interested in watching me live, as I said not that long ago, you can head over to twitch.tv slash streams. The link is down in the description. But for now, thank you so much for watching and bye!